Hello, Michael Dyrish Football Fan TV. This is the squad reaction from Stephen Kenny's squad to face Norway and Malta over the next couple of weeks. Um, I'll start off with the goalkeepers. You've got Quivian Kelleher there, you've got Gavin Bazunu and Mark Travers. Look, Kelleher's just come off the back of a really good um, performance against Derby County in the Carabao Cup or the EFL Cup or whatever you want to call it these days, um, the League Cup. Um, for Liverpool, became the fourth keeper ever to win a penalty shootout for Liverpool. Um, it's probably because every final he plays in, they do end up winning the, the penalty shootouts. But uh, look, uh, a great achievement for himself. But look, um, I also read that was his only 18th appearance. So that's worrying as well, considering you think he's 22. Um, you'd want him now to start making his own career, whether that's at Liverpool or not. But anyway, um, he's in the squad. Makes sense to have him in there. Good to have him back. Obviously, there was all that controversy before with Jurgen Klopp and Stephen Kenny, and they're making a a big deal of nothing really there, in my opinion. But anyway, he's there. Uh, you got Gavin Bazunu, who's had a really good start to the Premier League with Southampton. Maybe not so much in terms of their results, but in terms of his performance. Uh, itself he's been really really good so fair play to him Um, he'll probably be number one I don't see the other two getting ahead of him Mark Travers has gotten back into the Bournemouth squad in recent weeks done okay Um, but I still think he's behind the two goalkeepers um, based on previous um, inclusions he hasn't got a look in for whatever reason but in saying that you never know he might get a half maybe against Malta which would be good because I'd like to see him maybe come in and, and get another chance I don't think he's as bad um, that he doesn't deserve to get a chance when he comes in when the other two are, are, are getting a, a, you know pretty much full games themselves Seamus Coleman uh, makes sense to have the captain back in there I know Shane Duffy's dropped out but uh, Matt Doherty's in there Nathan Collins John Egan Darrow O'Shea Darrell Ennehan uh, Liam Scales, James McLean and Robbie Brady look there's enough leaders in that defence that can cope without Shane Duffy who's not playing so far this season um, so you can understand it also seems as though that was for personal reasons he was left out of the Irish squad for this um, round of games anyway so it's a, a, a meaningless friendly uh, to be honest it's just a, a filler for the World Cup and just uh, a way for the FAI to make a bit of money and um just to keep everyone kind of busy in and around that period as well. Uh, Seamus called Matt Doherty, as I say, Matt Doherty would be first choice right wing back. Um, Liam Scales is probably the, the one that stands out as being the one that's probably a bit obscure for people, but I think he can play in a number of different positions, left wing back, left back, centre back, and he can play those positions well. He'll also, if he's in a back three, he'll bring balance, um, being the left footer in a back three as well because I've seen players like John Egan and Darrow O'Shea play there as well it's not natural to them obviously playing either on the centre or on the right hand side of a back three would be more natural for them so I think to have scales in there and the fact that he's played in Europe with Celtic and with Chemic Rovers in the past um, will bode well for him if he is called upon to come in there you've obviously got James McLean and Robbie Brady for that left wing back spot so, um, yeah, there's lots of options there. Seamus Cohen can also play on that right side of defence as well. Um, then you're moving into midfield. You've got Josh Cullen there, Jeff Hendrick, Jason Malumby, Alan Brown, Will Smallbrown and um, Jamie McGrath in there. It's great to see Jamie McGrath back in the squad after a good result for him the other night. Uh, 4-0 win over at Kilmarnock for Dundee United and he got a goal and an assist. Looks like he's back enjoying his football. And I think when he's in form and enjoying his football, he is definitely one of our better players and more creative players. Uh, Will Smallbone, on the other hand, great to see him get his first senior call-up. I think it would have happened sooner if he hadn't got injured. Uh, it's been really good for the under-21s and more than justified uh, his selection. So great to see him in there. I know um, Derby County didn't actually release certain players, so Howrahan and Jason Knight uh, not released for this uh, camp. So... Smallbone, uh, fully justified in my opinion. Jamie McGrath, great to see him back. Um, the midfielder will be interesting because it'll either be Josh Cullen, it'll be the first midfielder's name on the sh on the team sheet. Then you've got either Hendrick or Malumbi or Brown. Um, the thing about Brown is he can play in a number of positions and he can score you a goal, as we've seen against Serbia and against Scotland as well, just to name two off the top of my head. Um, Jason Malumbi, you know what you're going to get from him. Energy, work ethic, uh, getting stuck in. Um, pretty much the epitome of an Irish player heart, desire and uh, getting stuck in and getting the foot in uh, as well as carrying us up and down the pitch with his energy so yeah and uh, up front then you've got Obafemi 
at Swansea, um, you've got Callum Robinson, Scott Hogan, who's in decent form as well, Shiadozi, Ogbeni is in good form, Will Keane, Evan Ferguson, the surprise package there, and then you've got Callum O'Dowd as well. Um, not too many wing forwards in, in that, you know, unless he's, he's going to look at maybe Robinson as that and, and Ogbeni, um, because you've got O'Dowd and then the rest seem to be centre forwards, although Robbie Brady could play there. Yeah, but up front, I mean, Evan Ferguson is the surprise package there. Um, but it's the perfect game to get him in and see how he'll do. He done well against Israel for the under twenty ones and scored in the playoff as well. So he's training with Brighton. They seem to be really rating him highly. He's been on the bench a few times. So I think this uh, it could be an opportunity to get money. Probably play against Malta a small bit if he's gonna. It depends on how he trains as well. I think players like Scott Hogan all do deserve a chance to try and get there like he's been given chances i know but maybe a chance to to get on the score sheet but i think um evan at some point i'm sure if he avoids injury between now and the two games i think we'll see him at some stage playing a part in the in the team so yeah look overall happy enough with the squads um i mean this may, who who else could you really put in maybe festi abazelli um but this, this, uh, Joe Hodge maybe is another one who I probably would have liked to have seen but for whatever reason um, he's he's opted not to call him up look at the experience mixed in with youth there yeah um, let us know your thoughts in the comments on the team and uh, don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe and I'll speak to you all soon thanks for watching also check out our other videos with um, Brendan Clark and Brian Mara head of the FAI Cup Final I did an interview with the two of them um, face to face and as well as that we've got interviews with Luke Byrne, Damian Duff, Brandon Kavanagh and Rory Higgins as well coming out tomorrow so check them all out and uh, I'll speak to you all soon thanks for watching and take care